Hello, hello! I am Ben Pick, and thank you for joining me in a Running to Write, where I give questionable writing advice through running metaphors. Well, this is a first for the channel. Let's pretend that there's a whole lot of fake drama, which doesn't actually exist. Fellow author, tuber, and friend J.M. Chaley took a random comment of mine and ran with it. He created the debut novel tag, or if one already existed, then he reinvented it with his own questions and answers. I'm following his lead by upholding my end of the challenge. So this is my take on his tag. I'll include a link in the description below for his video where he answered his own tag questions about his debut novel, A Flower in Hell. I've read the first chapter before and heard him talk about it, but hearing these answers to his questions rekindled my excitement to read his novel. Here's my own take on the debut novel tag, and thanks again for creating this so that I can showcase my passion for my work in progress. Number one, tell us about your debut novel. My novel is called Falling Through. It starts on the day Derek reveals to his best friend Tracy that he's able to move objects with his mind. The demonstration goes awry and almost kills her. Now they're being hunted by a monster he accidentally unleashed. Spurred by the mysterious monster, a series of bad decisions lead to worsening superpower-related accidents as Derek loses control of his powers, hurting himself and his friends in the process, one of them critically so. The strongest theme across this novel is Derek learning to live with his mistakes and trying to undo the damage he's caused, even when that includes sending him and his friends through time. Number two, will you go traditional or self-publishing? Oof, this is a tough one. I'll be querying agents in the near future and then waiting two months. During that time, I will be queuing up all the steps needed so that I can self-publish on my own if I, self-publish on my own is a dumb thing to say, but if I don't hear back from them, then I will be self-publishing. Number three, what is the current state of your work in progress? As of this recording, I've received my final edits and comments from a developmental editor. I'm going to go through two rounds of my self-revision cycle, and then I'm going to hand this off to a line editor within the next week or two. Number four, how long have you been writing? <sighs> Too long. This story has been in my head or on paper in some form for the past 15 years. The most recent 10 years of that, I've been really working to refine it and make it into something that I can be proud of. There was even a multi-year cycle somewhere in there where every three to six months I would completely overhaul it from start to finish and essentially have a new story. Number five, what earlier works were put on the back burner or completely abandoned to make way for this? A project I called Juice. That was based around an old joke where we should give professional athletes steroids and just see how far a human body can go. I took that idea and ran with it where there's a drug called Juice which kills 50% of its users, painfully so. For those who survived, they would then unlock some kind of superpower. Those with top tier powers then went off to join professional sports leagues, where you would have people with super speed and super strength competing against psychics who are trying to get their minds to explode. Basically, it was a horribly graphic dystopian world where people will be risking their lives and physical debilitation for a chance at 15 minutes of shining fame. It's a grim combination of super-powered steroid lottery and rampant corporate greed. Number six, what was the most challenging thing about writing this novel? Trimming words. Every time I remove a thousand words, I need to add back in that same amount to clarify a moment or make it more visually appealing or resolve a potential plot hole. I am proud that I was able to drop 110,000 words down to a little over 97,000 in the most recent version. That being said, I keep trying to push my word counts lower and closer to 95,000, but that is looking more and more unlikely. Number seven, what is the most fun part of writing the novel? To a lesser extent, I enjoy having the character relations evolve well beyond where I initially intended them to go. The most fun part though is the climax. I have read and reread my novel enough times that the words have stopped having meaning. When I work on the final scenes, I still get goosebumps. There are powerful moments in there and I strive as hard as I'm able to, to get that emotional build up to the story's conclusion. Number eight, what did you learn about the writing process? How not to suck. 
Writing is a learning process, and in my experience, I've learned that the two best skills needed to succeed are determination and a strong desire to perform extensive research. That means I make a lot of mistakes, but I learn from them. Number nine, if you could go back in time, what are three things you would tell that earlier version of yourself who was in the midst of that first draft? Quit your day job. Now, mind you, that is not quit your day job and write. The job I had while I was working on my first draft was an unending pit of despair. So I should have quit years before I actually did. In terms of writing advice, first, this version of the story is bad. Clocking in at over 400,000 words is something no one really wants to read. I am not Brandon Sanderson and there were far too many plot threads, subplots, and wide cast of characters in the first few versions of the story. Secondly, ask for help much sooner than you're comfortable with. Finding a local writing group was one of the most beneficial steps I've taken to align the story I had written with the vision in my head. Lastly, respect yourself and your writing. This was and is a long journey. It takes time to improve your writing skills, so don't get discouraged when you reread a paragraph and think it sounds awful. Likewise, appreciate the moments in your story that still make me smile. And lastly, number 10, will your next novel be a sequel or a new work? Falling Through is the first in a long series of novels I plan to write. Going back to how version 1.0 was over 400,000 words, there are many plot points, subplots, and characters who I have since reworked into later novels in the series. There were chapters I cut from book one, which I directly pasted into book two and tweaked a little bit to still make relevant in book three. Currently, I have book two written and beta read, and I'm now 20,000 words deep into book three. Once book one is published, I'm going to go overhaul and polish up book two and finish book three, hopefully in less time than it took to get the first one out there. That is the last question for the debut novel tag. I'm planning to have Falling Through be published by this summer. Hopefully by repeating that goal, I will bring it to fruition by holding myself accountable to each of the individual milestones along the way. I want to give an immense thank you again to J.M. Chaley for creating this tag. It's a fun one, and I am proud of the manuscript I've written. I want to shout out all of its details because I liked creating the many turns on its winding path. For anyone watching this video who is working on your debut novel or has a new work in progress, consider yourself tagged. Have at it. Let me know what you're working on. I am Ben Pick, and thank you for joining me in Running to Write. If you enjoy what I do here, then please press those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know in those comments what you're actively working on or taking a break from. I post my running and writing progress on Instagram and Twitter as Running to Write. So be sure to follow me and join in with your own thoughts. See you next time. Until then, discover a new author's debut novel.